सो गुड मॉर्निंग गुड आफ्टरनून आई डोंट नो विथ टाइम यू आर वॉचिंग द वीडियो वेलकम एवरी वन टू माई चैनल नाउ टूडे और फ्रॉम टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट ए न्यू टाइप ऑफ थिंग न्यू टॉपिक एंड समथिंग डिफरेंट टिल नाउ वॉट यू हैड लर्न वॉज दैट यू हैव टू फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ वी टॉक अबाउट माइक्रोसॉफ्ट एक्सेल प्रोग्राम देन इन माइक्रोसॉफ्ट एक्सेल प्रोग्राम you had to learn certain functions some formulas this all things and then make the usage of those things and get the answers so you had got the ready made formulas with you before that we had learned html then in html also you did not have to create any tags all the tags were already ready you had to just make the usage of those tags and create the web page while from now you have to learn something new that is you have to apply your own logical reasoning power to get the solution of the problem okay means in other ways if i tell you then now we are going towards a new journey that is learning how to design a program you may have learned, you may have heard the word a programmer or an app developer right now you get so many applications apps in the market right from google play you can download so many apps now somebody has designed those apps right so how to design an app or how to design an program that type of things you are going to learn right now now when a person has to develop an app he don't have the ready made uh, functions and you have to make the use and get the answer no it's not like that way every time he has to think that this is the type of thing which i want to develop and he has to think upon it that how to get the solution of those things and how to develop that app okay now to learn how to develop a program or how to develop an app the basic step towards that is the development of the reasoning power right now in the competitive exams also the questions which are asked are related to the logical reasoning thing okay it's not like our education style that you have to mug up all the questions or question answers and then go to the examination hall and then write up the things the person whose mugging power is good he will get good mark he is termed as ranker that's a wrong thing in real life that formula doesn't work okay so the thing which works is the reasoning power so in this chapter that is chapter number 9 uh, you will be given the basic introduction towards this thing and then your reasoning power you have to develop the things which i will teach you you will also have to i will also give you some homework to you okay and you will have to find the solutions to those programs then from chapter number 9 uh, sorry chapter number 10 that is c language you will be taught how to put that thing into practice when you come to the computer in chapter number 9 you have to find the solutions in the paper, using paper and pen while from chapter number 10 we will be going to the computer using c language okay so these all things are going to be very interesting okay so let now people in their day to day life solves a lot of problems now let us discuss one such process consider that uh, you are playing the game of hide and seek with your friends in the game our problem is to find the location where our friends have hind- hidden themselves am i right now this can only be done if we can predict the place of hiding now let us consider another problem here the problem is totally di- of a different type assume that we have to solve a mathematical equation to find the value of x from the given equation 2x plus 4 is equal to 0 now here we know what to do since we have studied maths what sh- what will be the next step so to solve this problem we need to rearrange the equation that is 2x is equal to minus 4 and then 
say x is equal to minus 4 upon 2 and we will get the answer answer will be minus 2 so we can come to know from this example both the type of problems are different now let us take one more example of another type of problem we want to find the meaning of any word from the dictionary now I hope that you are familiar with this dictionary because right now uh, this actually this textbook was written in 2012 or something like that I don't remember but right now the ages of mobile phone smartphone and for looking for the meaning of any word we use our mobile phone we don't use this thick book called dictionary but since this example is given in the textbook so I am teaching you the thing now in this example we want to find the meaning of a word say the word is cool C double O L cool we need an English language dictionary for this purpose a dictionary contains lakhs of words and its meanings we are still able to find the desired meaning very quickly am I right have you ever thought how we are able to do this so fast we actually take the advantage of the sequential order of words given in the dictionary means in the dictionary the words are arranged in the sequence of alphabetic order so like that way it's arranged and that is why from lakhs of words we are able to find the desired word we click we quickly eliminate the options that do not start with the alphabet C we straight away go to the page where the letter uh, the words are starting from alphabet C and start looking for the word uh, that is the next alphabet that is O okay and then we will get all the words starting from C second letter O this elimination method is continued till we find the exit word which we are looking for fine now in the examples discussed uh, above indicates that results of some problems is exactly predictable you can predict the result while in others it's not possible to define the exit outcome from the three examples also we can come to know so thus the problems can be classified into two types the first type is well defined problem and the second type is poor defined or ill defined problems now note that well defined problems have clear goals and hence we can clearly define the solution steps in the examples which we had seen above in the cases of the problem number two and three they were well defined that suppose if you want to solve the mathematical equations you know the formula so you will be able to solve or third option uh, third problem was to find the word from dictionary now all the things are arranged in sequence so that was also a well defined problem we were able to do but the game of hide and seek that is an example of ill defined problem you will have to look everywhere wherever there is possibility of the uh, players being hidden you have to look everywhere so that is not a well defined problem now from these two types of problems computer is able to solve only well defined problems in the field of computers solution of a given problem is a sequence of instructions given to a computer computer can solve variety of problems from the easiest to the most complex ones to solve a problem it needs to be given complete set of instructions now I would like to explain you the meaning of instructions 
this word is used by the textbook for a number of times in standard 9th also but what is the meaning of instructions have you got any idea all those who were studying under me last year in the school i have taught them the meaning of instructions i don't uh, remember whether they are able to remember or not i will try to explain you once again with the example uh, instructions means uh, program or software or application okay <laughs> because you will get confused what is instructions for example when you purchase a new computer you have not installed any program which is the first program which you install the first program which you install is the operating system operating system contains a set of so many instructions through which all the hardware software everything will work so i hope the meaning of instructions is clear these instructions tells the computer about what it has to do at every step for example when you press the power button and if the operating system is installed it knows that it has to load the operating system if you click somewhere it knows that it has to select that item double click then it has to open that item and so on now remember one thing computer does not solve the solve a problem it merely assists in solving the problem now in the field of uh, computers we can solve any problems using the steps mentioned ahead or not about any computer program but generally if we talk then we can solve any problem using the steps mentioned ahead the first step is defining a problem properly okay for example if you want to prepare a software for a school or a tuition or uh, tuition okay then you have to first define the problem problem means not a real problem but what work you want to get from that software that is it should be able to uh, collect the fees entries then it should be able to generate the print out of fees uh, receipt then attendance register general register all these things that is defining a problem second thing identify the input output and constraint of the problem now in the example which i gave you just now that is uh, designing a school management system in that what will be the input then the input will be first will be the students uh, general uh, register entry thereafter fees entry what will be the output then the printed a uh, copy of the fee receipt attendance register this all things so that all things you have to decide then identify different alternatives of solving the problem for example if i want to go from my house to amdavad then i have got two three alternatives whether to go from this road that road what are the difficulties on this road surface quality then the distance so many factors that is to be decided that is third point then the fourth point is choose the best possible alternative from the above list for example if i want to exit bhavnagar i have got two roads one is from uh, nari road i can go or i can go from the cable street bridge then i have to decide which uh, alternative is better okay then further also i get so many alternatives so i have to go for the best alternative in this example so same way in any problem you have to look for the best alternative then the fifth step is prepare the detailed step by his instruction set of the identified alternative means from different alternatives which you have decided from that whichever alternative you feel the best now start writing down the step by step instructions that which should be the first step second step and the whole thing you have to write down straight away if you start the computer open the programming language software and start typing the program you will not reach anywhere my dear first thing is the paperwork in the paperwork you have to write down all the things all the details and then you have to implement it in the computer so the sixth step is compute the results using this instruction set that is all the instructions which you have written in the notebook that now you have to enter in the computer programming language okay and the seventh option is check the correctness 
of the answer obtained means straight away if you prepare a school management system and without checking it you give it to the school then if any problem comes then who will be responsible for that so first thing is or last thing is system testing you have to use it and in all conditions it should work properly so the seven steps you have to remember we try to understand this thing with one more example assume that we need to find whether a given number is odd or even now see c language will also start with this type of simple problems okay so here we want to find whether a number entered is even or odd then we have to follow the following instructions to solve that thing first step first step will be accept any number from the keyboard second step divide the number by 2 and find the remainder if the remainder is 1 then the given number is odd number otherwise the given number is an even number the generalized solution to the problem is obtained using three different technique techniques mentioned below first one is pseudo code the thing which i had done just now is known as pseudo code i had uh, here i had written the thing step by step okay three steps i had completed the thing so this way of writing the thing is known as pseudo code another one is graphical representation that is flow chart that i will teach you later on and the third technique is algorithm okay that is also you have to write there also so uh, this video we keep till here next video i will begin with flow chart and when i start the next video please be ready with your uh, book and pen okay you also have to draw the flow chart and i will give you some questions where you have to use your logical reasoning power and solve those questions fine so we complete this video over here thank you goodbye